you're not getting views on Instagram because you're not using this one trick for your Instagram hooks, which is just causing people to scroll by your reels on Instagram. Now, this is costing you thousands of views, and I'm gonna show you how to, you know, potentially get a lot more views on your videos. Now, of course, the video needs to be good, the value needs to be great, but this one secret video editing trick is gonna really help you stand out from the crowd on Instagram. But before we go ahead and hop into that, I wanna let you guys know that my name is Chris said I run the Takeover Shop, where it's editing assets and presets. I also post on Instagram pretty often, so if you guys wanna go ahead and give me a follow there, feel free to do so, link down below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, so the first step in a reel so let's just say someone is scrolling by and they just see this video playing through they might be like cool but they might literally just see this and you're like all right next later you know what i mean the first like split second to two seconds is so so important for your short from content because that's really going to be deciding whether or not people stay and watch the video so the trick is just adding a fake camera movement plus an overlay now, if you guys go over here to your media bin, you guys go to new item adjustment layer, and then you go ahead and hit okay, drag and drop this adjustment layer above all of your clips. Like even if you have text, just throw it above the text as well. So really just trying to like stop the, uh, the scroll, which is huge for short from content. So I'm gonna go over here to my takeover preset pack, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop the uh, punch out fast and blurry effect. And I literally do this on all of my reels. You guys can go scroll my Instagram and just scroll down and you guys are gonna see just every single reel starts with this sort of little trick. As you can see, look, it just adds like a lot more energy to the first second. You know what I mean? Like that looks so boring as opposed to this. Like that just like, I'd be like, yo, what's going on? You know what I mean? And you guys can even go a step further um, to really make this a little bit of a funner more you know crazy effect and just zoom in a lot more so it's like that or you can make it longer just like that either way it looks great now if you don't have my preset pack which shame on you you're wasting so much time brother <laughs> just kidding uh i get it you want to save some money that's fine let me show you how to do that without using my preset pack because you know i'm trying to drop some uh, value for sure for you because i care for you that was a little cringy but it's okay um so we go to transform type in transform and then uh go ahead and drag and drop it onto your adjustment layer uh, make sure it's on your adjustment layer so it affects everything beneath it and then uncheck this and then also go to shutter angle just crank that thing up all the way to 360 could do less just personal preference and we're gonna go ahead and go to scale hit the keyframe right here toggle animation drag this out about like five six maybe 10 15 frames whatever it feels good that little slide to me felt really good so we're gonna, we're gonna see how it worked and then we're just gonna zoom in about like 140 ish um just depends on what you really really want right click and then go to bezier and then we're also going to play with the velocity so hit this little like carrot icon and then we're gonna go ahead and just drag this over just like so then we also want the, um, as you guys can see, this right here, there's like a little weird bump. We want it to be as smooth as possible. So it's just a seamless, like kind of smooth sort of effect. And we're just gonna drag this down like so. And as you can see, it just really blurs out the real front. front. There you go. And that's how you do it. Now with, you can play with the velocity and just make it like really funky like so. Like that one actually looks really good. I like that one a lot, but yeah. So that is the effect. And if you wanna make it look a little bit better, go ahead and add a uh, overlay. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here into Premiere Composer. If you don't have this plugin, go ahead, download it, download it for free. It's essentially just like a, uh, it comes with like presets, but I use it as like a media storage sort of folder. Um, and then I just open up my takeover starter kit. I'm just gonna drag and drop my overlay, double click it and just drag and drop it. I'm gonna cut half of it because we're gonna throw it in the beginning, just like so. And as you can see, it's not working because you gotta go ahead and change the opacity. And then you change it to screen and then it'll be fire and then there you go like your intro of the reel like i would see this and be like okay this guy knows how to edit immediately the overlay caught my attention like all right i'm paying attention now i'm not just doom scrolling banger all right you guys so today was a very very quick tutorial but it is actually a simple trick that I really wanted to share with you guys. So that way you could really increase your chances of building some momentum this year and just really changing your life forever. If you're a video editor or content creator, please feel free to follow me on my Instagram down below. That is where I'm pretty active more personally with you guys. You guys get to see more of my lifestyle, but also I wanna connect with you. I wanna like actually like be a part of your creator journey. So with that being said, again, my website down below if you wanna go cop some presets for the new year or to my Instagram if you guys wanna go ahead and connect with me. 
because you know i'm super grateful for all of you guys even if you're just watching the videos and then going on to implement like your view and like your support means a lot. And genuinely like this year, I'm really trying to be more vocal about how grateful I am for you guys because you guys have genuinely changed my life. So again, please go ahead, follow me on Instagram because I want to actually like build a connection with all of you. Anyways, that is it for me today. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Remember guys, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.